so you really don't need to win. So you end up having all the reduction in bloating, distension, you have the shrinking of the fat cells, you have the reduction in inflammation, the reduction in liver stress, all at a lesser cost because you're not having to eat all the time. And then to make matters even better, you're not having to constantly prepare food. So fasting ends up not only having that detoxification effect, it actually makes your life easier too. But there's one more thing to share. Fasting increases something known as autophagy in the body. And what that is, is the cell's natural ability to detox. It's the cell's natural ability to recycle itself and really create new cells that are going to flourish and do a lot better job operating in the body than if they were old and tired. So fasting allows our body to renew. So now we know that fasting not this only is bloating, but it also helps you burn body fat, but it's also going to help you detox and help your cells recover as well. So if you want to watch the full video that explains in a lot of detail how intermittent fasting works, you can head on over to sciencebasedsixpack.com right now. So again, we know that fasting is going to be the quickest way to help your body detox. It's cheap, it's effective, and it works for men and women. So again, I will see you at sciencebasedsixpack.com. See you there. Daddy is a soldier, son. Daddy's gone to war. His steady hands, they hold his gun. His aim is keen and sure. Your daddy's in the desert, in the darkness and the dust. And he is fighting for his country, son. He's doing it for us. Your daddy's coming home soon. Not long now till he's back And we can dress you in your smartest shirt And meet him down the track And he will put you on his shoulders And you will clap and sing and laugh And I will throw my arms around him And feel him close to me at last Your dad ain't left the house again Your dad ain't brushed his teeth Your dad keeps getting angry and at night he doesn't sleep He's been having nightmares And he seems worn out and weak And yes, I've tried to be there for him But we barely even speak It's like he don't know what to say to me He don't know how to tell it He's won medals for his bravery But he just wants to forget it He's drinking more than ever I can hear him cry when I wake up in the night and I feel him shaking at my side. But he spoke to me at last, my son, he turned to me in tears. And I put my face real close to his and I asked him what he feared. He said, it keeps getting nearer. It hasn't disappeared, he says, I see it even clearer, now the sound of smoke is cleared. There was a kid he got to know, young, just turned 18. Good kid, his name was Joe, he kept his rifle clean. Now Joe's girlfriend was expecting, Joe was smart, Joe liked to laugh, and Joe marched in front of your old man as they patrolled the park. Here's the thing, everything was quiet, suddenly they heard the blast. Then the miner marched in front of Joe was completely blown apart. And some shrapnel hit Joe in the face, gouged out both eyes at once. The last thing those eyes ever saw was the man in front. You know, was limbs and flesh and bone and blood ripped up and thrown around. After that, just flatness, blindness, the taste, the stink, the sound, the look. I tell you this, my son, because I know what you would like. As soon as you've grown old enough, you'll want to go and fight. In whatever battle needs you, you'll want to pledge your blood and bone. Not in the name of good or evil, but in the name of home. Your dad believes in what he fights for. He fights for you and I. But the men that send the armies in won't ever hear us cry. I don't support the war, my son. I don't believe it's right. But I do support the soldiers that go off to war to fight. Troops just like your daddy's 
some soldiers through and through who wear their uniform in pride and do what they are told to do. So when you're grown, my sweet, my love, please don't go fighting wars. Fight the men that start the more fight for a cause that's yours. It seems so full of honor, so valiant, so bold. But the men that send the armies in do it in the name of gold, or else for reasons we can't know. And then they tell us it's for Britain. And then the men come home like daddy, angry, and spend their days just drinking, trying to get perspective. On the thoughts they can't stop thinking While the sons stare at their daddy's chests And watch the medals twinkle Bye. 
Stay. 